up guys, it's T here from TD Daily and this is so weird. I have not been in front of the camera for what, two months you guys. I took a little bit of a sabbatical. I needed a little bit of break to recoup and I'm back you guys. And I did some shopping y'all. Over the past, what, six months I think, I have been doing huge amounts of hauls with clothes and jewelry and all kinds of goodies. So what I decided to do was put them all in this one big video so I could share them all with you guys. So you guys are gonna see me trying on some new stuff, but also clips that have stuff that I've already tried on months ago and clips of me trying out products and different stuff. So don't be alarmed if you're like, Tiffany's hair is different or why is it suddenly summertime? <laughs> So we're just mashing them all up to be one big giant epic haul video you guys are you ready i'm ready i'm excited let's get to it let's get started you guys okay you guys can we talk about these shoes these are one of my all-time favorite teddy shoes sorry guys i'm really sick right now one of my all-time favorite teddy shoes that you've ever gotten look at this they're from Miss Lola. Of course, you guys know I'm loving their store. And I just, I love that they're so unique. Look at this. Tan. The faux snake print. The black and the tan together with the mesh there. And the clear bottoms. I don't know. I just love everything about them. And they're so soft in the inside. Yeah. Another win from Miss Lola. I'm telling you guys, you'll never be disappointed. Like, it is the best. And I am obsessed with my nails, by the way. Hey. All right, so I am incredibly excited about this next item, you guys, from Fashion Nova. They threw the box. <laughs> so, unfortunately, it got all banged up, but it's still pretty cool. Let me show you this. Look, look at this. You can hold it like a little purse. Very cool. I like the box. Very convenient. I wish they wouldn't have thrown it. It's okay. I'm still going to probably keep it. And away we go. Oh my gosh. So when I saw these on Fashion Nova's website, I definitely thought they were extra, but they're definitely on trend right now. And I kind of wanted a pair because everyone else on Instagram makes them look so cool. So, I mean, they have gems, you guys. They have gems on them. Look at that. Okay. So you have to wrap it around. Gotcha. Oh, that's okay. Let's figure out how to do that and try these on. Okay, so from what I can tell, it looks like you want this part to be underneath the shoe. So let's pop that underneath there. And then we're going to twist. Oh, there's a buckle. Okay, there's a buckle. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. We can figure this out. Okay, so there's a little notch here. So I'm assuming this was a cross right there. There we go. Let's bring them up further here. And then if we bring it around, bring it around town. Okay, cool. Look at that. It fits right in here. So you should be able to snap, crackle, and pop it back together. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's put it on. Ready? Dun, 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 dun. And this is with both shoes on. I feel like I am a man on the moon. Whoosh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> So these are in size eight and I don't have much wiggle room here. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing them. They fit very true to size. Look, they jingle. This is so cool. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is this skincare fridge. It's this flawless on the front and it helps keep my skincare products very fresh and it helps them work a little bit better especially the ones that are um specifically for inflammation or redness and things like that these are all pretty much the nighttime ones or the first thing in the mornings like the moisturizer it's nice and cool so it revitalizes my face and makes it feel nice and fresh i am in love with this thing you guys love it one of the things i keep in this fridge and i pulled it out is my whitening stuff let me show you so I use two different products, or two different brands, I should say, to whiten my teeth. So first off is the Luminaire Whitening Strips. I'm sure you probably have seen them all over Instagram or Snapchat. 
these really do help if you have sensitive teeth. I mean, they're, these are great whitening strips anyway. They have made my teeth super duper white, but my teeth are so sensitive, you guys. So I was super skeptical trying these and I'm happy to report that they actually work. Now you can do this every day. I choose not to. I actually only do the whitening strips um, twice a week and then I do this once a week. Now this over here is the Dr. Strong box looks like this. Okay, and it comes with uh, this little brush and you're going to brush on this liquid. And this is the actual whitener when it's activated with the UV light that you see there. It whitens your teeth, you guys. And this is a timer set to 15 minutes all by itself. You just press it and then the light will go off in 15 minutes. There are measurements on the side here. You only need to use one ml. I do half on the top, slowly. And you can just squirt it in one place because then you use the brush. I like to make sure it gets up here on the sides as well down here because your teeth are actually up here and it's gonna rub against here, not just on the bottom. So you really wanna make sure you spread it nice and evenly. And you're gonna do the same process with the other half of one ml on the bottom. And once you feel like you've got both sides nice and saturated, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in my mouth. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now we wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I didn't rinse my mouth. I'm going straight in with the Luminaire uh, toothpaste. And this is where you would use this, the first product. And we're gonna brush our teeth. Get it on my bamboo toothbrush. Look at that, you guys. Fresh, clean, and sparkly white. <laughs> and then I would rinse with the mouthwash. Now, like I said, I would only do that once a week. And then when I'm not doing that, I would do the whitening strips twice a week. So this is your typical adorable fall and winter outfit, you guys. Everything I'm wearing I got from Target, and it's just super cute. It's comfortable, but you can make it look a little sexy with the little Daisy Duke tie at the bottom. I actually got this choker in a set of three for like nine bucks. Super, super cute. All right, next up we have some Miss Lola products uh, again. <laughs> First up is this hat, you guys. Look at this hat. It is precious. I've worn it in a couple of Instagram pictures. I just had to show you guys. This chain is legit. Look at this chain. It's legit. It is nice and sturdy, bro. Look at this. This is the inside. It's such great quality, it's amazing. Like I've been ordering from Miss Lola for such a long time and I still cannot get over the quality of their items. All of their items, including next up, this purse from Miss Lola. Look at the cute little packaging. It looks very expensive, you guys. It almost looks like a little Chanel, little coach bag. And you can open it here, boop, and then shabam. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so we have this gorgeous green chain that matches lined with gold. And then in the inside is this black velvet or suede rather, we're soft. This is perfect for a little lunch date or just a quick, I need a bag, a cutesy bag for an outfit, but you don't want to have too many things in your purse. This is what I would use this purse for. Alrighty guys, so next up I want to talk about another hat. I'm very into those, I don't know what they're called, maybe like Lana or Lana wool hats, but they're basically kind of, look, let me just show you. Look at this. Look at this hat. It's almost like the black one, but it's a little bit smaller and it has a little bit more of a 
am a photographer vibe. I have definitely been to the desert and I'm super chill, man. And I feel super cool when I wear it. Look at this, look at this. Do I look super cool? Do I look like I'm super smart? Like I've been places, I've seen things. <laughs> Please, cause that's how I wanna look. <laughs> No, for all, I really like this hat. I got it for 20 bucks from Target. And I feel like it's going to match so many different outfits. I feel like this is a perfect, not just fall, not just winter, but even spring hat too. This would work with a really cute like white dress with some flower pattern on it. I'm digging it. I'm digging that vibe, y'all. I'm digging that vibe. Mm. I'm digging that vibe. <laughs> and I know you guys have probably already seen me wear this sweatshirt a million bazillion times, but this is indeed one of my Christmas sweaters, or just my winter sweater at this point because I wear it all the time. Look at how cute. It's a skeleton mixed in with Christmas. <gasps> and it even has ant, wait, does it have, yeah, it has antlers, you guys. I was like, this is the perfect T-bone sweater. I found this off of Amazon and I've been wearing it till it is like falling apart and it's still in great condition. And I don't even care, I'm gonna keep wearing it after winter's over because <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> it's just such a comfy oversized sweater. I'm getting super smart and serious again with my glasses on. <laughs> this next product was super, super cool. So it came in a pack of six of these. Looks like this comes in this package, you guys. This is so cool, okay? It's gonna blow your mind comes wrapped up on this. You guys recognize what this is? It looks like a wine cork, you guys. It's shaped like a wine cork, and what you do is unravel the lights, put it in a little jar, and then instead of putting the cork back on a wine bottle or whatever bottle you're using, you stick this in there and then turn it on, <gasps> and you have lights. They're super cute, they're super cute. So the batteries did not come with it. I had to get the batteries on my own. Um, but you can get them from a battery shop, Best Buy, you know, etc. And I got these off of Joom. So let's go ahead and put them in a bottle and let's try it out. All right, so I got this bottle from Ikea, but you could also use any wine bottle, like I said. We just don't really drink wine that much in this house, so I don't really have any wine bottles. And this one was really cute, and I wanted to do something decorative with it anyway. So I made sure it fit. Look, it fits. Unravel this. Kind of letting them do their own thing, letting them fall where they will inside the jar. Let them fall where they must. And because they're kind of already curled from being wrapped up, they're going to make a really cool, pretty pattern on their own. And if you want to, before you even do this, you could totally add like some paint at the bottom, let it dry first, or some glitter, and then light this up. It would be really pretty. I might even end up doing that. But today, we're just demonstrating how this works. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okie dokie. Plop it on in there. Boink, boink, boink. Let's turn it on, ready? Oh my goodness, look at how cool that looks. I think it's so stinking cute. I think it's super cute. I love how it still looks like it's a wine bottle with the pretend cork. Guys, I'm telling you, you find the coolest freaking stuff on Zoom. Seriously, the coolest stuff. Okay, so this is a new pair of shoes from Miss Lola. They just came out with this. I'm thinking that this is probably some of their new packaging because look at how freaking precious. It's this beautiful satin. It's baby pink and this is Miss Lola in gold. But wait till you see the boots inside, y'all. Inside that beautiful satin bag are these beauties. These are the perfect shade of tan slash beige. I love that they come with boot inserts so it's gonna keep the shape while they're being delivered to you. They are in the size eight and they fit perfectly, you guys. And honestly, they're a little bit lighter than the showing up on camera. I have been using the Mabram, it's called Beauty Tear Pull Mask. And does it tear, y'all? 
<laughs> it comes in this cute little green container. And then they also have a blackhead removing serum. And it comes with uh, little strips that you can use as well. And this thing is so cool, you guys. Okay, check it out. It looks like a nail polish. It looks like a nail polish. And you put it on your nose. And then you put one of the strips on your nose. And then you usually wait about 10 to 15 minutes till it dries. Pull it off. It's almost like an adhesive and a cleanser and one that really sticks into the pores. So when you pull out, it's almost like a glue. And it's like, whew, oh, yeah, yeah. But a good kind of woo. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when I'm applying a skincare product, I like to use a fresh face brush is pretty much a foundation brush but I find that it puts on any kind of face mask so smooth I want to touch the hymen it smells really good you guys but as you can see it kind of looks like baby poop so just keep that in mind it's not go it's not gonna look the prettiest but <laughs> but it'll work nicely <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks so gross. It looks like someone smeared baby poop on my face. All right guys, so you're going to put it on like nail polish, but on your nose. And it smells so good. It smells really sweet, like strawberries. So it doesn't smell like nail polish, thank goodness. That'd be really nasty. Make sure you put it in the cracks right around your nose because that's where we get a lot of blackheads and things stuck in our pores. You want to peel out one of the papers that are in here. It does dry fairly quickly, so just keep that in mind. And place it on just like you would a nose blackhead remover. All right, you guys, it has been 10 minutes and it's time to take off both of these, the nosy and the face. You can see it's peeling on the side right here. Let's do the nose first. It's actually not that bad, you guys, not any more than any other blackhead remover. It definitely get, oh, okay. That part hurt a little bit underneath the nosy right there. Oh, that part hurt. Woo, made my eyes water a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a picture right here cause it was really hard for the camera to pick it up. But y'all so much came out of my nose. And I will say I'm doing both at the same time so you guys can see it. But normally I would just do one at a time cause I don't, so like when I just feel like my nose needs a little bit of cleaning up, I'll just do this. And I do feel like it works around the edges a little bit better when this brown stuff isn't on there. It actually just looks like my skin just came off my face. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the results. So I had to include this footage of my baby girl because she looks so, so darn cute. Look at her posing. She's my little model. <laughs> I told her a joke about farting right there. <laughs> but anyway, Bailey is sporting the Lumberjack full vibes, you guys. And I'm pretty sure you can still find this online at Target. It's super cute. The um, black overalls, you can make so many different outfits with that. And then, you know, get yourself some good combat boots. You can do a million different outfits with that as well. And I just love that I got to include my baby girl. She's so darn cute. All right, guys. I got this adorable microphone for my birthday last year. And now we're including it in this whole video. Can you hear me? Does it sound like ASMR? <laughs> Was that really loud? Let's do that. Let's do my eyelashes. <laughs> that felt weird. All right, let's get serious for a moment. At first I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side And I spent so many nights uh, thinking how you did me wrong And I grew strong And I learned how to get along Right here. 
Alrighty guys, so we're gonna be putting this product right here on my sink. So you would actually wanna use this adhesive, it comes with it, it's A and B, and it is in a different language, but the back is in English, so that's good. It's pretty self-explanatory. They're bond, they're adhesives. You smear it along here or wherever you wanna put the garbage bag catcher. So I think we're gonna put ours right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. All right guys, so the first step to this product is mixing A and B, which are these two things right here. And I'm mixing it in this little Tupperware and using a disposable butter knife so we can just throw it away. Comes with a piercer, I'm piercing it. And that's what A looks like. Then we're gonna do the same thing with B. And we're gonna plop this one in there now. Ooh, this one's like a greenish color. So even though it's, you know, doesn't have English on here, they usually always provide English instructions somewhere within these products, either on the back or in an instruction manual, which I really do appreciate. So you can still buy these kinds of products. Don't be afraid. Very easy to understand. That's what they look like together. They smell like when you get your nails done. That's what it smells like. Okay, it says mix it together. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go apply it to our sink. To place the adhesive right here. And just double checking that I like where it, where it is, right there. And now we're gonna put the adhesive on this part. And you can totally put it underneath the whole thing. I don't think I need to do this because I can tell this thing is really strong. You know what, I'm gonna put some underneath the center piece as well. So I'm gonna lift it really quick. And then I'm gonna carefully place it back down. All right, now it says we have to let this cure for 24 hours, you guys. So I'll be back in 24 hours. It actually comes with 50 of these, which I think is a really, really good deal. So 50 of these nets, and that's what we're gonna place around the uh, thing that we just applied on our sink so we can catch all the nasties. By the way, you guys, this is so sturdy. Look, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure what that adhesive is, but make sure you take your time and put it exactly where you want it because it is not moving after you do that. So now let's go ahead and put on the net. All right, so we're we're doing dishes, right? Let's say we're doing dishes. Doodly, oh no, we have some ickies. Ickies, dun, dun, dun. What do we do with them? We pop them right there in the net. Bam! Now they're not in your sink anymore. This, this is awesome. Very, very inexpensive and it stretches, so it's gonna be able to keep a lot of that nasties. And then when you're done doing dishes, you just take it off. Zoink, zoink, zoink and then throw it away. Alright guys, so this is actually a really freaking cool product. So as you guys can see, I'm putting hand sanitizer in this little bottle. You can put whatever Germex or hand sanitizer you feel like. Then you're going to put the lid that it comes with on top. 
and then take off the very top of the lid, you can squirt the hand sanitizer into a bracelet. What? Like, what? When I first got this, I thought this was the coolest freaking thing, and especially now that Bentley's back in school, I love that he can have it on his wrist, you know, squirt some hand sanitizer on, bada bing, bada boom, no COVID, no germs. I love it. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Somehow I lost the footage to the outro in this Stormageddon that we are having here in Texas, which you guys will see a vlog about um, in the next day or so. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this very long haul video. Do something that makes y'all smile today. You guys stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day. Bye, guys.